Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2024 horror sequel, The Jack in the Box Rises. The film is co-written and directed by Lawrence Fowler. And it stars Isabel Colby Brown, Leona Clark, Anna Blackburn, Lisa Antrobus, Liam Clear and Nicholas Anscombe. Right, this is the third in the franchise. The first one, Jack in the Box, came out in 2019. And the sequel, The Jack in the Box Awakening, 2022, I want to say. And I have reviewed both of those on the channel. Now, I'm quite a, um, I've got quite a soft spot for this franchise. I, 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 I enjoyed the first one quite a lot. It really surprised me. And the, se the sequel I enjoyed as well. Um, and for me... What I like most about this is the 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 beast, the creature, Jack, if you like, Jack in the box. I just think it's a really cool idea to have um, like a monster that is, you know, designed on like the history of Jack in the box. So you've got this demon that is kind of imprisoned in this box. And if you open this box, you unleash the demon um, and it will kill... Uh, six people, I believe it is, uh, until it gets, you know, imprisoned back in the box. And, you know, the person that opens it gets a wish. Uh, it's a very fun and cool idea, and I, I like that idea. And I also like the design of uh, the creature as well. I also think it looks pretty cool. This time round, um, there is a young girl called Raven who has to go and find this jack-in-the-box at an all-girls school. She has to do this because there's some nefarious guy that's got something on her, got, uh, you know, a uh, family in prison sort of thing. She doesn't have a choice. She has to go and do this to get this jack-in-the-box um, at this all-girls school. Nobody knows where it is. It's well hidden, and her job is to find it, and of course she does. Um, and then unleash someone unleashes the demon on these girls at the all girls school and it's not full of girls there's only like a few of them left because the rest have gone away for the holidays and they've got to kind of try and figure out together how they're going to survive right so what are my thoughts on the jack in the box rises well quite simply if you've enjoyed the first one and you enjoyed the second one you're going to enjoy this because it is essentially more of the same. Now, I'm not going to sit here um, and tell you that this is, you know, a film of the year material. Um, but, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a fairly low budgeted film, um, you know, with limited resources compared to these other big flashier films. But it delivers what you expect from this film. If, you, if you've seen the other films and you're going into this, if you're not expecting, you know, the s similar stuff, then, you know, why are you here sort of thing? I want to see, you know, someone open the box. I want to see the demon unleashed, and I want to see him wreaking havoc on these, you know, people. Um, and that's what you're getting in this film. It is exactly that, more of the same. It did make me giggle, though, a little bit when I read the poster when it says, uh, Stronger, Faster, Deadlier. I had a little giggle to myself because if there's one thing that this creature isn't, is fast. Um, he, he makes Michael Myers and Jason look like Olympic athletes in comparison. Um, it, it's classic horror tropes here. He moves as slow as a snail, generally. Um, and due to the <laughs> poor decisions of the characters that he's chasing... He ends up kind of getting them anyway. Um, but if all you needed to really do is put your, you know, your Adidas sneakers on, get running, and you're probably going to be all right <laughs> with this uh, creature. It's 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 not that e it's not that difficult to foil his um, beastly advances, if you like. So, I mean, yeah, it, it it's got quite a few of the horror tropes going on here, and you know, um, he does move dreadfully slow, but. For me, it adds to the charm of the film and this creature, if you like. Um, you've got as well, like I said, the, the setting is the all-girls school. Um, and you get what you would expect in the girls that are left at the school. You get, like, the tick box list of the students that are left. So you've got, like, the 
bully sort of thing, the popular one bully sort of thing with her boyfriend there. You've got the nerdy one sort of thing. You've got the painfully quiet shy one and you know it, it kind of ticks all those kind of generic boxes what you expect to see in a movie like this um you know when it's got like teenagers in um and it doesn't disappoint you know it follows it follows a particular blueprint this film um and it's a tried and tested blueprint regardless of what you say um is it original no it is definitely not original um, is it going to shock and surprise you? Definitely not going to shock and surprise you. Is there an element of fun to watching this? Yes, I do actually think there is an element of fun to this. I, you know, it's, there's a real comfortable charm to it in a sense of that you've got this beastie demon uh, coming out of a box and kind of stalking its prey and taking them out one at a time. And the kills are, I think, for the most part, pretty satisfying. I'm not going to lie, it'd be nice to see him ramp up the kills a little bit, maybe, and get a little bit more brutal or a little bit more graphic and gory. I think to stand out today, um, you've got to kind of do that. You've got to kind of really go for the throat in these type of movies, and I think that would be fun to see. And I'd also like to see, I mean, we're getting little snippets of more of um you know the mythos of this creature and all that kind of stuff but do you know what i think would be really really excellent uh, you know an origin story for this for jack you know how how this demon got put in the box in the first place that would be excellent i'd love to see that that would be you know a real ele different element of how this you know demon was kind of captured and you know imprisoned in the box i'd be up for seeing that definitely um and but going forward if, they, if they're going to make more of these like i said uh, let's you know really change the uh let's make it a little bit more original i suppose let's ramp it up a little bit let's we've had three movies now of jackie the box in the box popping out killing six people getting back in the box sort of thing it's just been slight tweaks on it each time um i like the films i like the design of the creature i like the idea uh, but going forward, if we're going to get more, let's get a little bit more creative here because there's, I think there's quite a lot of potential with this. It's not often you get like um, British horrors, low budget British horrors that are kind of worth writing home about. A lot of them are garbage and then that's just how it is. This one, I think, is, you know, it's well made, nicely polished and definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of this franchise. So thanks very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.